and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Teamer Flash in Standard 2020. Hey, okay. This is a donation deck that we're going to be playing here today that looks pretty cool. As you can tell, like we're basically like Teamer Elementals, but then also um, with a Flash aspect, how we have some count, you know, counter magic with negates, interstice sabotage. We got Nightpack Ambusher, which is an incredible card. And then to help us play all at instant speed, we're going for Leyline of Anticipation. If we get to like have like instant speed crisis and Risen Reef and Omnath and everything like that, that could be really cool. So yeah, that, that's what we're going to be doing. So this is uh, standard 2020. If you don't know about that format, this is a format where uh, it's best of one only. So you see, we don't we don't have a sideboard. Uh, we're just playing best of one, and um, it's also only cards that are not rotating out. So only cards from the last four sets as well. Um, so we're going to be playing, we're playing it in ranked. It's a donation deck. We're playing standard 2020. They got all these little indicators there with it. Um, but yeah, let's, let's see if this works. I, I have not had any success with Leyline of Anticipation. However, I do think best of one can, um, can maybe take more advantage of the card because like, you know, you don't have like people can't sideboard against your ley lines or anything like that. I don't know. So yeah, we're going to try this out. All right, so Teamer Flash. Where are we at anyway? Ugh. So I, I dropped, I know like my other ranked decks today dropped a little bit, but all right. So if we win four in a row, we'll go to Mythic. But here we go, Teamer Flash. Oh, wait, 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 cancel, 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 cancel. Wow, that was close. I definitely went to the wrong spot. This is standard 2020. Ooh, that was close. All right, and so with this this event also, oh yeah, <clears throat> this event is free for everybody, and you can play ranked or non-ranked. But then if you win two in a row, you get 200 XP. So this is a an, a uh, ranked event to try to grind XP, or you know non-ranked event also to grind XP. Um, Plumeria, I don't know what that means. Is there something wrong with the mic? I don't know what that means. All right, so our deck doesn't look... Um, our deck doesn't really look flash at all here. We just got our elemental part of our, of our deck. Ah, oh, it's another elemental. More elementals. Tin Street Dodger, that's not an elemental, that's a, a goblin rogue. All right, so Risen Reef does just get shocked. But still playing it because I want to try to hit this fourth land. I'd like to play Omnath next turn and <clears throat> take out the Dodger. Well darn. We'll just lava coil the initiate. This is kind of the problem with Leyline of Anticipation. Is just uh, you do draw them later on. That's kind of the problem there. Mm. 
So Temple of Epiphany was going to be an island. We switched that out. So we could have had like basic island there. Which could have been nice. I don't know if that would have been that nice. Because honestly, I need to kill War Boss anyway. Oh, Cavalcade. GG's. Starting off with a loss. So we have to exit, re enter, team or flash. Okay. Um, we're probably going to see a lot of Mono Red Cavalcade. That was. Like, that and Chandra Tribal are, are my two favorite decks for this event, but they are both just the mono red decks. Well, looks like we're playing against Cavalcade again. We do have a better hand, though, this time. Night Pack Ambusher is really nice. I know, like Leyland of Anticipation does help out Ambusher eventually, but it's it's really slow and Yeah, I knew I wasn't going to beat Spitfire by Lava Coiling there. Like, I was going to die to Spitfire, but it was my, my best plan against not Spitfire, I think. I don't think we need to mulligan aggressively for Leyline of Anticipation. I don't think we have to be that aggressive for Ley Line of Anticipation. Yeah, Cavalcade. Cavalcade is just pretty rough for us. That's just how it is. I like to play against something else. Okay. We got Leyline. So let's see how good is Leyline of Anticipation. Let's check it out here. I 
<laughs> when you play Cavalcade, you just play against the life gain decks. Yeah, we're gonna, like Lava Coil at instant speed. Uh, yeah, Teferi would be really annoying. Then we don't get to cast anything at instant speed anymore. I'm not sure if we really need to coil the gutter bones, honestly. Yeah, I'd rather coil that thing. Mono Shock Lands is rough against the aggro deck, though, also. Everything at instant speed is awesome. <laughs> so powerful. It's so powerful. All right, kill the wolf. Just down to three cards over there. Ooh. That is not good. No. Too bad. Instant speed shock. So they have to block with Priest if they want to keep Chandra around. My opponent's not going to attack. Okay, so the question is, why didn't I just let my opponent attack with all three creatures and then flash in a blocker? But my opponent's not attacking with Priest of Forgotten Gods with with Chandra. You don't you don't attack with Priest of Forgotten Gods. You just activate Priest of Forgotten Gods and draw a card and make them lose two life, and you sacrifice the the one ones. So once they once they had the Chandra on the stack, I had to. Or when they were putting the two twos on the stack, or however I did it, have to kill the priest of forgotten gods. Something I've never considered with Once Upon a Time is that if you have no one drop but you have lands, you can play a land and pass the turn and cast it for free on your second turn. You can, like, temple on one to help scry, 
and then yeah draw your next card and then cast it on turn two Good call there, good call. Next time, you're toast. I want to wait a turn before I crisis. I don't really want to I don't want to shock either. If I make this block, they get to sack Footlight Fiend to kill Omnath. So I don't, I won't have an Omnath anymore, and then they don't have like anything though. I kind of think my opponent was last turn they were supposed to equip gutter bones and shoot me for one and then replay the gutter bones. Yep. Yeah, you can yeah, you can just draw the yeah, if you draw if you draw once upon a time turn 2 as long as you haven't played a spell yet. So they did kill the Omnath, <clears throat> but they're left with nothing. Now we have a count. We get to counter whatever they play. Cause yeah, we get to flash in Risen Reef, draw the counter spell, and then counter whatever they play. All right, there. Our deck did it, did its thing. Yeah, yeah, Risen Reef is now Frilled Mystic with Surveil 1. So that's pretty good. All right, let's give it a try. Got our Ley Line. Ready to go instant speed. We need a red mana. Yeah, we neoformed Rizzard Reef into Thrilled Mystic. Leyline, of course, does allow you to play um, does allow you to play instant speed neo neoforms, so you can like instant speed go find Frilled Mystic and stuff like that. As you can tell by us playing three straight aggro decks. Best of one is filled with aggro. A 
which is not great for us right now. Not great for us. I think I should Omnath on my turn. So that then I can play the land and, and grow it. Yeah. Good card. That would be great if they don't have removal. That would be the best. I guess they, it's going to be hard for them to have removal because of Null Hide Ferox. That's true. Okay. Or they just have removal still. Could be shock. Okay, so shifting ceratops can gain trample. Get some lands. Get some counters on the Omnath. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep. Yeah, I could could coil. I don't know. I guess I just like drawing cards. Oh no! Oh, I forgot. Oh, I just completely forgot that Omnath doesn't block <laughs> Ceratops. Oh no. Okay, well yeah, I should have definitely coiled. I was just planning on having Omnath block Ceratops, and then just chump the Ferox. Oh, please don't kill me. Wow. Yeah, I forgot about the protection from blue and, and Omnath, Omnath, honestly. But it's okay, we're, we're still in it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So it's all good. Yeah, too cute there. <laughs> yeah, blue shield not visible enough. I guess I keep the land in hand in case we draw an Omnath. Just draws a card. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was pretending like I just top decked that coil. <laughs>
Ugh. Looks pretty good for us, though. There is no Bane Fire or Lightning Strike in this format. Don't, have to, don't really have to be worried about either of those, but we had Negate anyway for Lightning Strike. If they had a Lightning Strike type card. Yeah! 200 XP. The, the thing that would have been like the biggest problem, like they could have had like six mana Chandra, like play that, it's uncounterable, give me an emblem. That would have been a little rough. No, I don't really regret investing in levels. Because I, I wanted like specific, I wanted some card style. Like, there's one of the investments into levels I certainly re regret because I I thought I I bought like four or five levels to get a Soren because I, I needed like a like the four like I really I needed the, like the mythic Soren and it was like oh that's the reward is get the Soren but it, the reward was not the correct Soren it was you know like the dual deck Soren and I was like what so I got got there. No, another cavalcade deck. The cavalcade decks have been rough. But both of our losses, we did not have Leyline of Anticipation. But also, both of our losses were to. Cavalcade. I think I just need to hold up Sabotage. Cause yeah, like Chandra, like that, we gotta gotta counter that thing. Yeah, gave us the the bad planeswalkers as rewards. And yeah, I guess I wasn't really expecting that. Well, good graveyard there. Drawing the extra ley line of anticipation would have been a dead card. In case we draw shock here. I feel like our deck maybe needs like some flame sweeps. Yeah, I do like this is a pretty cool little stage here. For this event.
Probably gonna have to do some blocking here. Love it. Instant speed at crisis. We have seven mana though. We'll see if we can get an eighth so we can, you know, gain an extra life. Um, this allows us to keep up sabotage as well. Um Yeah. No! Skewer! At least they didn't skewer me. Well, this is pretty sweet. Yep, looking like a GG. Uh... Yeah, Flash Crisis, real strong. So we went three games in a row there having a ley line of anticipation in our opener and won all of them. But we see we have played five matches and we played five aggro decks. <laughs> we played Cavalcade three times, Rakdos aggro, and uh, Gruel aggro. So red aggro every single match, all five. Yeah, Leyline holding tough in the aggro market. That's a good, good call. Yeah, it's. I would think that the Leyline would be a little tough there. But we're doing it. Being able to play everything at instant speed really is valuable. Do you think Brawl 1v1 will be similar to Standard 1v1 even with Singleton setup and a little bit higher life total? Yes. Yeah. But I, th I still think it'll be pretty similar. I mean, the thing is, is it's really about the commanders in Brawl, though, also, honestly. I guess that's the big, that's like the big difference is you're, you know, like, whatever, like, the really good commanders are, they're going to be the things that dominate. Like, whatever, you want, like, low-cost commanders so you, that you can play all the time early and, uh, you know, they have to be, like, real impactful. Like, with Brawl, whenever they tried Brawl before, the card Brawl, I know that's, it's, that's a coincidence, but whenever they tried the Brawl format the first time in, with Kaladesh and everything, the card Brawl, cheap of compliance was like the best thing that you could be doing because it cost two mana and it made all your instants and sorcery spells cost less so burl 
was broken in Brawl. Hmm. If I play Krasis, I don't get the wolf, of course. I feel like if I play Krasis, they're going to kill Krasis. They, they would have just killed Krasis. I kind of want to be able to play Krasis and then hold up Negate. But we can we can also just outrace Thief of Sanity here. Oh, I'm just going to counter that thing. I'll just counter that. We also just outrace Thief. Oh, wow. Grabbing my lava coil. That's a killer. Oh, I didn't see the new thief animation. But yeah, there have been a lot of new like the last update did add in a bunch of animations. I didn't see I didn't I just didn't notice the new thief animation. Like, the Knight of the Ebon Legion one, it took me, like, four or five times of the card being played before I noticed it. <laughs> I noticed uh, Steamkin and Bedevil right away. No, I want that shock. I can go Leafkin, then Krasis for four, or just Krasis for five. It doesn't affect how much I gain or draw, but just having Leafkin and the other Leafkin in play isn't super valuable unless we'd find a third Krasis. Then it would be very valuable. But that point of power, I think, could be more valuable. So they got six mana, they shocked in. What they got going on over here? Well, at least Dream Eater has a cool animation, but they're dead. So yeah, putting Crisis back into my hand. They're not, I guess, technically dead, dead this turn, but we have a crisis. Oh, wow. Now they're dead. Oh, I don't have... Oh, yeah. I do have the mana. Okay. I just... I don't get to trigger Omnath. Before, I was going to be able to just use Leafkin to pay two to play Leafkin. Which I guess I should have... Could have just done that first, but oh well. All right, we're four and two. Rank up. Back to where we started today at. XP. Let's play another one. Uh, 
I like the historic format. I mean, I'm, I'm excited to play it. I, I like new formats and everything. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, I'm excited for historic. I'm excited for it. Well, after our first two losses to Cavalcade, our decks looked really impressive. So after that, <laughs> Omnath smack to the face always makes me smile. It's like Omnath is like challenging you to a duel. Like, psh, psh, psh. Uh. I guess with Temple, we get to scry, look for blue green mana. I like having the removal spells against everybody playing aggro. Oh man, that was the worst draw. Hmm. Risen Reef's good, but we don't have mana. Okay, good draw. Now I want that Risen Reef back. Is that possible? Can we get Risen Reef back? Getting rid of these sailors is really important because of their ability just to draw extra cards. So hoping that Ugh, they still have two mana. I was gonna say hoping they tap out and I get to land ambusher. I still have two mana though. The problem with Spectral Sailor, I can't just sit back and not do anything because because of Spectral Sailor drawing cards. All right, that's good. All right, we're back in it. drawing these extra ley line of anticipations they just have no text whatsoever
Double flash. So I'm one land away from being able to trigger Omnath. Basically getting wanting I want to get these things out of my hand. Alright, that's fair enough. I get punished for tapping out. Um Those things are out of my hand now. So I guess that's good. We didn't have the two extra mana. If the ley lines were just lands, we would have had the two extra mana. <laughs> yeah, that's some real magic right there. Alright, draw another coil. That's so we get to draw this card. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I think it is worth it to play one of these while they're tapped out. Not sure which one I want in play. I guess I want Ambusher. That's gross. I think this is going pretty good for us, though, for the most part. Yeah, this is going good for us. Just got the one card in hand. Um, three, six, seven. It's probably good. There we go. Won the flash battle. Or five and two. We get this XP again. <laughs> yeah, even with even with the three ley lines, they were just all dead cards. Um, my opponent did draw more lands than me, though, so that I'll make up for that. Our deck doesn't lose the Simic Flash. Nice. Yeah, because we do have triple flash. That is true. Just it's just so such instant speed there. Can't beat the triple flash.
Oh no, sound bug. Bleh. No ley line for us. The gingerbread doesn't like the crazy sound bug. Yeah, crazy sound bug. Dismal backwater. So that means they have turn two thought erasure. It's best of one, they always have turn two thought erasure. Ooh, no turn two thought erasure. But still, need to protect the Risen Reef. Had to do that. Disinformation campaign. Leyline or coil? Are we ever going to actually play this ley line? Well, I was hoping to hit an untapped land w with one of those three cards or it could follow up like a, a, another leaf can to draw a couple because it's probably Ritual of Soot. But, you know, you never know. Maybe it's not Ritual of Soot. Ooh, not Ritual of Soot. All right. We'll take that. And no, I like Leyline. I love Leyline when it starts in play. Drawing Leyline. I'm not, you know, and actually spending your four mana to cast the Leyline and taking a turn off to play it. I don't like that. But I like... Um, I like when Leyline starts in play. What'd they take? Leafkin? Or if Leyline... Had, like, what if Leyline Anticipation had Flash? Like, it should just have Flash also. So we'd be able to Flash it in. If need be. That would be pretty cool. I don't think that'd be OP. So they just didn't play anything. Looking for more blue mana here. That's fine. If it's blue land, I'll put it in my hand and then play it. They're just trying to do Blast Zone for three. It's such a slow answer to Risen Reefs, but I guess that's what they're doing.
Sorry, Risen Reefs. Y'all already did your job. So they have seven over there. I got seven over here. Pretty close match. All right, I know I don't get the... I don't get the puppy, but I think I want... I think we want this in play. Now I still have negate available for this turn. Alright, so looking good. Now we get to instant speed everything. Moo Yanling. The mind is a tempest that can be controlled or unleashed. We do not need to counter Mu Yanling. Bow to the howling winds. Le. Your presence darkens my sky. So I could, like, after we get the wolf, I could still flash in Omnath and kill Mu Yanling. But honestly, we still just don't really... I'm not really that worried about Mu Yanling right now. It's minus three again. So they're just kind of stuck on their five lands over there. Um, so the Leafkins add two now. So that's four mana with them. And then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven total mana. So we can Krasis for nine. We have too many cards for Krasis for nine in hand. So we're going to have to discard one. Surprise lethal. You know when you're you think you're doing good and everything, but then suddenly there's a nine nine crisis. Alright, Rakko Guru. And we got the XP again. Three in a row there. Alright, so that's a that's a good Yeah. Spicy flash crisis there. I think that's a good spot to kind of end up here with our deck. I like I like finishing up on top. Six match win streak there. And this is about where I, I finished with the other times I was playing the M20 standard there. But yeah, this deck, this deck was pretty sweet. I liked it quite a bit. So yeah, we went, we went six, two. So we went, we went oh two to start with against Cavalcade. Um, you know, had to get the rough draws out of the way. And then, boom, six in a row. You know, getting that 600 XP. Um, Leyline of Anticipation was really sweet with this stuff. Getting 
being able to play instant speed. It was awesome. I was surprised at how good we were against the other aggro decks because we we so even though we lost to Cavalcade twice, we still beat Cavalcade another time. We beat Rakdos aggro. We beat Gruul aggro. Um, but then the the decks that were not aggro, they felt like pretty good. Like they felt really good matchups. We faced two blue black decks. Those ones felt really good. And then you know we faced Simic Flash, and we were just more powerful than Simic Flash and had good removal and everything too. Honestly, this deck this was really sweet. This was a good one. So what would we put in the sideboard? Um. You're going to need a lot of stuff for aggro. Winning two out of three against... I don't know. Um, I mean, like, so you can basically kind of start with, like, all right, like, here's what we play with Team or Elementals for a sideboard. So, you know, just can't kind of give options if you're, you yeah, know, wanting to play it. Um, you know, so these are all different options. You know, Healer of the Glade, Veil of Summer, Aether Gust, Negate. You already have, like, Negates. You're already pretty good against... Like, this deck is already good against aggro, so just putting in stuff that's good against control... All right, sorry, sorry, the other way around. You're already good against control, so you may need, like, extra help against aggro. Those are all op options there. Um, previous elemental deck, you know, uh, I have, like, Entrancing Melody. really like Entrancing Melody these days, but, of course, that card's rotating out. So is Blood Sun. Blood Sun is awesome. You know, like, Blood Sun's probably kind of necessary against all the Field of the Dead decks. Uh, Spyglass is like a good card against vampires and can be decent against Esper and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, Flame Sweeps would probably be a, a, a definite in your sideboard. Uh, flame Sweeps. Um, yeah, Flame Sweeps would be a, a definite. Yeah, I kind of thought... Yeah, I wasn't wasn't exactly sure if this was going to be too janky or not, but no, it actually it is actually good. It's actually good. I'll have to play this again some more. I know um, there's a lot of people liking the standard 2020 event, so this is a, a good one to to um, go back to. Tomorrow we are going to be doing standard 2020. I'm I know I'm definitely going to be playing Chandra Tribal there, um, and you know we'll see whatever whatever else put together, but. Um, yeah, honestly, I may, maybe I'll play this again tomorrow. If you're watching later on YouTube, you want me to play this again the very next day. Uh, if you want me to play this again tomorrow, let me know there. Um, oh, yeah. Shadow Tribal is awesome. We're we'll playing that. And I'll, I'll put together a couple other decks as well. Um, we'll, we'll see what else we do. Maybe, maybe like an Esper deck or something. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, if you're watching later on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, and of course, leave comments. I always like seeing the comments. But that's it here for Teamer Flash in Standard 2020. And I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching.